Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made these Toy Story gumball jars. My nephew is turning two and he loves Toy Story, so I thought this would be the perfect centerpiece. If you want to see how I made these, just keep on watching. This right here is my inspo video that I found on TikTok. I am not going to do all of the characters. You'll see which ones I'm going to be doing in the next couple of clips. I bought most of the stuff at the Dollar Tree, of course, that's like my favorite store. I kid you not, I went to five different Dollar Trees to find these action figures. I also found these clay plant pots. These are 3.12 inches. I got some paint from Michaels, 10 bucks, and I found these at the Dollar Tree as well. The first character I decided to paint is Bo Peep. I started off with this turquoise blue. She does have a pink bow, so I decided to add this pink line in the middle of the pot. I guess you can say this kind of acts like a pink ribbon. As you can see, I messed up a lot. I went back with the turquoise paint and fixed my mistakes. I used a white acrylic paint marker to create like this ribbon design. Honestly, if you're going to do this and you don't have these acrylic paint markers, get some they will save you a lot of time this is how it turned out super cute and as you can see on the top of the planter i painted it white now i'm adding pink dots for the glass jars it obviously came with the lid i decided to paint the bo peep lid pink since you know her main colors are blue and pink. Now I'm gluing the glass jar onto the clay planter. I use a hot glue gun for everything. The hot glue gun worked great for this project. Eventually I glued on the Bo Peep action figure to the lid and this is how it turned out. So stinking cute! Now let's do Forky. I wanted Forky to be kind of 3D. I painted the pot white. I decided to use these googly eyes for his eyes and these fuzzy sticks for his mouth, his hands, and his eyebrow, I guess. I don't know. I started off with his smile. I kind of just played with it until I got my desired smile that I wanted him to have. I did the same for his eyebrow. Then, of course, I used a hot glue gun to put everything together. For his hands, I just cut one of the fuzzy red sticks in half and then I formed his little fingers and then I just hot glued gun that. And this is how it turned out. I painted the lid white. I couldn't find a Forky action figure, so I just used the Bo Peep action figure. I hot glued gun the jar onto the planter and bam, how cute. There's Bo Peep again. Next up, Buzz. 
this is my nephew's favorite character from Toy Story. This one was a little bit harder, but it was definitely not as hard as Jesse and Woody. I painted the pot white and I mainly used green, purple, yeah, just green and purple to paint him, to be honest. You know, when it comes to either painting my nails or just painting anything in general, it's so hard for me to explain what exactly I'm doing or what exactly I did. I take a good look at the inspo picture and copy whatever's on that picture. If I feel like it needs something, I'll add it. Or if I feel like it's too much or I don't like a certain thing, then I just won't paint it. You do whatever your heart desires. At the end of the day, these are your centerpieces. You're making these. So do what you need to do. Now I'm going to shut my mouth so you guys can focus on what exactly I'm doing. Okay, sorry, I'm back. I really wanted to point out that it's okay to mess up. I messed up so many times. You can always go back with some paint and just fix your mistakes. This is how Mr. Buzz turned out, and we have the three lovely friends right next to each other, right here. Next up, Jesse. Ugh, Jesse. Okay, Jesse wasn't as hard as Woody. I painted her paw white, and then I designed her clothing with a pencil. I should have done this from the beginning, but I just wasn't thinking right. Use a pencil to sketch out your design. It makes this process so much more easier. I painted her pants blue. I painted a black belt. I also painted a yellow buckle. Miss Jessie is of course a cowgirl, so I had to add some cow prints somewhere on the pot. I painted her vest or top, whatever this is, I painted it yellow. I used a red acrylic paint marker to outline the vest. I also used a black acrylic marker to outline and enhance that belt that she has. Jessie has these designs on her top, so I just decided to do these loops and outline them with the red acrylic marker. Now Woody. Woody, Woody, Woody. I painted his paw yellow and then I outlined his bandana in his cow print vest with the pencil. I 
I drew on his buttons and then I started working on his plaid shirt. Surprisingly, this was not the hardest part. I know, shocker. Maybe it is a little bit tedious, but I mean this whole project was just tedious in general. Of course, I had to make him his belt buckle. I outlined his vest with a white acrylic marker and I painted it with white acrylic paint. After I was done with that, I added the cow print design on the vest. Next up, his jeans. I did half blue for, of course, his jeans, and then the other half I painted it brown for his belt. I painted his belt buckle yellow and I added some belt loops. I went back in with my handy dandy red acrylic marker. I outlined the bandana and I started working on the plaid shirt. I then outlined the vest with this black acrylic marker. I colored in the buttons and I outlined the belt buckle. Eventually, I did color in the bandana red and I started designing his bandana. Honestly, I don't know what I did here. I just drew on whatever I thought was cute. I used a white acrylic marker for this. I forgot to mention this, but eventually I also added black stitches around his vest too. And ta-da! This is how they turned out! These are so adorable! I'm obsessed! I painted Woody's lid brown and of course Jessie's lid red because of her red hair. I glued on the glass jars and that was it. I know this took me hours to do, but it was definitely worth it. These Toy Story gumball machines are so stinking cute 
cute cute cute cute cute i don't know how many times i said cute in this video but they are just so cute Here is a recap of all of the characters that I did. There's Forky, this is Woody, there is Miss Jessie, and there's Buzz, and of course, the one and only Bo Peep. At the end of this video, you guys will see how it looks like with the gumballs in the jar. But I hope this gave you guys an idea on what to do for your next birthday party. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys.